In this video, I introduce an excellent trading strategy on Rune USDT pair, and code it step by step in Pine script. In the end, I will show its efficiency in the long term with the help of Trading View Strategy Tester. This strategy is very easy and requires only one or at most two indicators. Well, without wasting time, I jump into this trading strategy. This strategy works very well on the Rune USDT. So I open its chart and go to the 30 minute time frame. In the list of indicators, I type, follow line, and select follow line indicator. This indicator is provided by Dreadblitz. Working with this indicator is very easy. Whenever the indicator line changes from red to blue, it indicates a long signal, and vice versa, whenever its color changes from blue to red, it indicates a short signal. Fortunately, this indicator is open source. What I want to do is turn this indicator into a strategy and test it in the long term. First of all, I open the source of this indicator. The Pine script version of this indicator is version 4, and it needs to be converted to version 5. You can see the steps to do this. What I have done so far is to change the source of this indicator to the latest version of Pine Script. Now I want to create a strategy. From the open section, I select New Strategy. By default, the codes of a strategy are generated. A name for this strategy must be chosen. Now I add the source of the indicator that we changed to version 5, to this new strategy. There is no need to draw lines and symbols on the chart, so I comment these lines. According to the code, we find that when buy is equal to 1, an alert is generated to create a long position. And vice versa, when sell is equal to 1, it indicates a short signal. So I have to change the conditions for entering long and short positions. After making these changes and saving them, the trading entry points in this strategy will be shown on the chart. The profit chart of the strategy is green and rising, although there have been drops along the way. To see the results better, in the strategy settings, I change the order size to 5% of the total capital, and pyramiding to zero. Now we can see the results more realistically. 39% of the transactions were profitable, but since the value of profit of the trades was more than the amount of their loss, the profit graph is rising in a good way. 
In the strategy settings, I change these parameters a bit to get better results. If we go to the properties tab, we can see that the backtest has been done for more than a year. Now we try to increase the efficiency of this strategy. From the list of indicators, I type ZLSMA and select this indicator that is provided by Verifit. This indicator adds a type of moving average to the chart. Now I want to add this indicator to the strategy. This indicator is also open source. So I open its source. As before, I will convert it to version 5, and finally add it to the strategy. Now, I have to add the new conditions to the conditions for entering into trades. In addition to the previous condition, we open a long position, when the close of the candle is above the moving average, and vice versa, we open a short position, when, in addition to the previous condition, the close of the candle is below the moving average. Now I open the strategy settings and change the length to 50, offset to 6 and source to HLCC4. With these changes, the profit chart will improve. Also, the net profit and the percentage of profitable transactions will increase. In the chart, we can see that some entry points are very good, but some of them are not profitable. However, this strategy has been profitable on this cryptocurrency, and in this time frame. You can add other indicators to the strategy and observe the results. It is definitely possible to increase the efficiency and profitability of this strategy, which requires more work. For your convenience, I have put the source of this strategy on GitHub, and you can download it. Keep in mind that backtesting a strategy does not guarantee that it will work in the future. Thanks for watching the video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell, to get notification whenever I upload new videos.